Hello everybody, Joel here. So I don't like to think of myself as that person that sees a pile of junk and rummages through it to pull anything that is salvageable out and try to reuse it. But this one, I could not help myself. It is a Liberty hose reel and I found it in a uh, basically kind of a pile of junk and it had three hoses reeled up on it, really heavy duty commercial hoses and the handle was bent on it. You can see the, the crank handle here and the pipe that was uh, going through the, the reel portion was bent from all of the weight of the hoses. They had way too much hose on the reel. So I thought, you know what, I could take that and just bend that back and it'll be good as new. My wife and I were looking for one for the yard, so it's going to be uh, perfect for us. But I tried to bend it and this thing broke right away. The tube that goes in between where it was kinked um, snapped right off. So I thought, well, I could weld that. That'll be easy enough. Didn't even try it because it's just way too, way too light. So I got a hold of Liberty, um, the parts department, and they sent me out a part that resembled nothing like what I have on this hose reel. And so it was incorrect. So I got emailed back and forth probably about 30 times with them. And with the pandemic, they were not able to get parts. They were really low. But two days ago, my part showed up in the mail. I wasn't even expecting it. Um, but here it is. So we'll go ahead and get this new part ready to roll. This is where right here is where it basically snapped or was bent from the weight of the reel because the reel goes through here. You'll see in the, as I put it together, I'm sure we'll figure this out. And then this straps onto the handle over on the other side. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so to get this piece out, we've got kind of a hook strap over here. So I've determined that this nut needs to come off and that hook strap will likely come right out. So you can see the basic makeup of these parts is identical. So it looks like we'll have a pretty good replacement. I'll go ahead and push this through. Okay, that should take care of that part of it. Now I'll go ahead and disassemble the other part of this end. So these are the bearings that go in through the crank handle support. I'll go ahead and I'll lube these up. Looks like they could use a little bit just to make them roll a little better. I thought they were damaged, but they look really good. I don't know about you guys, but I really like this gel lubricant spray by WD-40. This stuff really seems to hold and work. Um, I like it for door hinges, just a lot of different 
things that you don't have that lubricant dripping down all the time it stays where you put it so it works really well much better Okay, let's go assemble back onto the cart. So in order to get this on, I believe I want to tie this end up with a bungee cord. And then I can get this one tightened down, get the screws tightened down on this side. Um, I don't want either side to bend those tiny little screws. They're not very heavy duty on the, um, on the U-straps. So I'll go ahead and get this side tied up with a little bungee cord just to take the pressure off of when I do this side. I'll go do the other side and then we'll um, come back and tighten these up a little bit more. I think I have an idea of why this thing was not operating correctly from the very beginning. These bolts that drop through to hold bearing assembly in for this crank handle. We're not perfectly in line dropping down through the tube, the support tube. So what I did is I cut a, uh, I had a piece of brass wire and I just cut that in to use it as a washer to straighten out this strap that holds the bearing into place. And without that, it was making the handle ride upwards. I don't know if you can imagine, but uh, the handle would be coming up this way this is just shimming it down to keep the handle in a good spot. So there we have it, a repaired hose reel that was ready for the landfill, rescued, and will be repurposed again. Well, not repurposed, the original purpose. So as you can see, the crank is working just fine. I'll get some hoses loaded up on that thing next spring and it will be ready to go. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and we will see you all on the next video.